Is this the friendliest lost cat ever? Hi. When Kate went out for a run that morning, she wasn't expecting to become a cat rescuer. What is happening? Hi. But Gritty needed help. It was getting colder out, and Kate knew he couldn't stay outside by himself. And it seemed pretty clear who he wanted help from. There was only one solution. Are you coming home? Yeah? Is that a yes? Kate was going to adopt Gritty. But as Kate walked home, she realized there was about to be a big problem. And his name was Tyrion. Kate has had Tyrion since he was a puppy. And in all that time, he has never once mm. liked a cat. Belly rubs? Yes. Cats? No. Puppy Olympics? Yes. Cats? Never. With Tyrion in her house, how was Kate going to keep Gritty? But he obviously needed her, and she couldn't just leave him out in the cold. So Gritty came home. But she couldn't just plop him down in the living room. That would be a disaster. So she came up with a plan. Put Gritty on one side of a door, Tyrion on the other. He's thinking, what's that smell? I know you have a cat in there. Then it was time for step two, meeting through the baby gate. Uh, Tyrion, it appears as though you haven't blinked in 10 minutes. Right. Yeah. Good job. Whoa, that's close enough, buddy. Step three, associate the cat with things Tyrion loves. Peanut butter, cat, cat, peanut butter. Being in separate spaces seemed like it was working, as long as they had the baby gate so Kate could be sure they would play nice. <gasps> Gritty, did you crawl under the gate? Oh no, what is going to happen? Is Tyrion gonna chase him? I can't look. Nobody's moving. What's going on? He's like, so this is a cat, huh? Whoa. Do I chase you? Do you chase me? What do we do? Are you both trying to smell each other without being smelled? Kate was pretty nervous. At least Tyrion didn't chase Gritty, but he clearly was not a fan. Hi, Tyrion. Are you concerned about the cat? I'm gonna touch you. So far, all the friendship plans had failed. Kate was worried Tyrion would never be happy with a cat in his house. Then one day, Kate saw this. What? Cat dog cuddle alert. It was like Tyrion had finally decided Gritty wasn't so bad. Not only that, he seemed to love him. And Gritty was like, you're not so bad either, fluffy, big-ish dog. Tyrion realized life was kind of better with someone else to play with and not play with. Now Gritty had two things to thank his new mom for, rescuing him from the cold and helping him find his new best friend. In this house, one cute little kitten named Pickle is boss. But he wasn't always the boss. Before Pickle, Coda lived a nice, quiet life at home. She was a really happy dog. And then one day, she was in an accident, and everything changed. Her legs were hurt, and she had to learn how to walk again. Her mom, Brooke, was worried. Coda seemed so sad. Every day she practiced walking, but she didn't want to eat or play. It took a lot of work, but soon Coda could walk and run almost like she used to. But she still didn't look happy. Nothing seemed to cheer her up. Would Coda be sad forever? Brooke had an idea. They went to Coda's favorite places together. Maybe that would cheer her up. Coda, what are you doing? But Coda still seemed sad. Then one day, Brooke saw a picture of a sweet little cat who needed a home. She wondered if he could help cheer Coda up. What do you think? 
but they were about to find out that Pickle was a troublemaker. Oh my God. <laughs> the only way the house was safe from this menace was when he was wrapped up like a kitten burrito. But even that couldn't stop him for long. Coda didn't know what to do with him. And then one day, Brooke found Coda outside by herself. She didn't understand. How did she get out? Brooke kept finding her again and again. What was going on? But then she spotted this. I can't believe it. Looks like this little escape artist has a new sidekick. From then on, they were so attached, it was hard to tell where one ended and the other began. Koda, I think you're laying on something. Now, when Pickle causes trouble, Koda joins in. And she brings Pickle to all her favorite places. Coda's happy again. And it's all because of a bow tie wearing, suitcase hiding, bed stealing best friend. I'm Toby, and I love this rock. <laughs> it's my best rock. Rock, 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 rock! You guys, he got scared and he broke his rock. My rock! Oh, no. I must be alone now. This is what it's like. This is what it is in the shadow of a time. We're going to fix you, little rock. I don't know if this is going to work, buddy. <laughs> rock! We're together again at last. the kittens find the subscribe button.